Hi, Deirdre McNamara here from Letterkenny IT. Um, I'm just going to take you through some practice sheets uh, demonstrating the if statement in Microsoft Excel 2010. So in this sheet here, uh, we're trying to separate out um, the bills that we owe, the big ones from the small ones or the large ones from the small ones. So we want to see um, which of these bills are greater than 100 and which of them aren't. Okay, And over here, we'd like the word large to appear if it's greater than 100 and small to appear if it's less um, than 100. So I've selected cell D3. I'm going to click on my FX function up here and I'm going to choose if and OK. Now my test in this case is going to be if this cell here is bigger than 100 then I'd like the word large to appear. If not I'd like the word small to appear. So I'm going to say um, C3 greater than 100 and you can see here it's working because the word true has appeared and then I want the word large to appear in the cell if it is greater than 100 and I want the word small to appear if it isn't. Now notice as I click away I get inverted commas uh, around the text. Okay that's fine so click on OK. And so you can see this number here is greater than 100 and so hence the word large has appeared. I'm going to fill it down, click and drag down and so here the 20 is not greater than 100 so hence the word small appeared. The 200 is greater than 100 so large appeared. And if I wanted to change this and I made it 99 you'll see here it has automatically changed over to the word uh, small and I put it back to 101 and it returns to the word large. OK, on the next sheet, uh, what we wanted to do was uh, to any of our customers that were VIP customers, we're going to give them a 20% discount. Uh, if they're not a VIP, VIP customer, they um, only get 10% discount. So that's what this is explaining up here. So I'm going to check and see if what's held in, in column A says the word VIP, I'll give them 20%. Otherwise, I give them 10%. So I've selected cell D4. I'm clicking on the FX button. I'm going to select if and OK. So my test is going to be uh, A4 equals VIP. And notice this time, oh, I forgot to put my other inverted commas. I'm typing in uh, inverted commas around the text. You have to have inverted commas around the text. OK, so A4, that's this cell over here. Does it say that the person is a VIP? So A4 equals VIP with inverted commas around it. If they are a VIP, then I'll give them 20%. Otherwise, I'll give them 10%. I'm going to click on OK. So this customer, IBM, is a VIP customer. OK. And then I can drag down. AT&T uh, is considered a normal customer. Uh, telecom is a VIP customer, so they're getting 20% uh, as well. OK, on the payment sheet, uh, what I wanted to show you here is that you can subtract dates. OK, so I'm not using an if statement. This is just a regular um, calculation. OK, so I'm just going to type in equals. So we're trying to find out how long we've held uh, certain invoices. So this is the date that we're going to actually send out uh, the, the checks. Uh, and this is how the date that we received the invoice. So anything that we've had for more than 30 days, well, we better pay that. And we'll hold off paying any of the invoices we received recently. OK, so it's going to be this cell here. OK, so C2 minus this cell here. I'm going to click on correct. So that's fine. 30th of May is 29 days after the 1st of May. OK, that's grand. Now, it works fine until I drag it down. I'm trying to drag it down and suddenly I get these error messages. So whenever you get an error message, always click on the cell, click into it and have a look at what's happening. OK, so I've clicked in here and I can see what's gone blue is the word date invoice received minus the 2nd of April. Oh, that's not right. It should be the 30th May minus the 2nd of April. OK, so the C2 should have stayed steady as I came down. So that's not great. Always go back up and fix the first one. So I'm going to click in here. I'm going to select my C2. Now that should be an absolute cell address. And the way we do that is by pressing F4 on our keyboard and in go the dollar signs, which means stay steady. That's grand. And we click on correct. Then click and drag down. And here, this is the 30th of May to the 1st of January. That's 149 days. 
Okay, so the next thing then is, if we've had the invoice for more than 30 days, well, we better pay that. If not, we'll hold off till next month. So in here, we'll put in an if statement. So we click on our FX, if, and OK. OK, our test is going to be, if this here is greater than 30, then we'll pay it. Otherwise, we'll hold it. So our test is going to be D5 greater than 30. OK, and here it says false. Either true or false there are fine. That Don't worry about either of those. That's grand. Um, so D5 greater than 30, then we'll pay it. Otherwise, we'll hold it. And OK. OK, and we click and drag down. So 149 is greater than 30, so we better pay that one. All of the new, the old invoices we better pay, but anything we got in the last five days, well, we'll hold off till next month to pay that one off. OK, the next one along then is um, looking at punctuality. So here we have a sheet where this was the time that people were meant to start, and this is the time that they actually started. So here we're going to say, if this time here is greater than or after, this time here, then the person is late. Otherwise, they're on time. So I'm going to click on my FX. I have my if statement and OK. My test is going to be if the clock in time is greater than the start time, well, then they're late. Otherwise, they were on time. So the clock in time is cell C2, C2 greater than uh, B2. And the person is late. Otherwise, they were on time. OK. Now, the next sheet over that we have, um, we're looking at, we gave uh, a budget um, and an actual spend. OK. And we're trying to work out if the person was over or under budget. OK. So we're trying to find out if this is greater than this, then they were over budget. Otherwise, they were OK. OK. So we click on our FX button. Uh, button here and OK. Our test is going to be if the actual spend, which is in cell C3, is greater than the budget. So if the actual, the amount of money we really spent is greater than the amount of money we should have spent, well then uh, it's over budget. OK, otherwise they're OK. OK, so 180 is not greater than 200,000, so that's OK. And we'll drag down. This one here, 110,000 is what was spent. You were only, there was, they were only meant to spend 100,000, so that's over budget. OK, now the next one here is if, um, if the um, spend is OK, then they get a bonus of 100. OK, so click on your FX here. So the logical test is if this one here equals OK, then we'll give them 100 euros or dollars or whatever. Otherwise, we'll give them nothing. And OK. And then we click and drag down. Down the bottom, we'll just auto sum them. We'll add them all up. So we click on auto sum and correct. OK, that's the end of this video.